So thank you very much, Alberta, because you, you have actually explained all the, the important keywords and, and the names and, and so on. What I'm, I'm trying to now to, to emphasize a little bit about this, uh, how the sort of, you know, individuals uh, that, that could be the, the, the informal leaders or independent thinkers uh, could, could influence uh, the society. And I would like to, to start again from, from this, my, my background, which is a, such a mathematical physics, so that it's actually a network. So that it's, it's a, society is a network with links and with nodes, and as we, we, we then know that some of the nodes are more influential. <laughs> exactly the names have been given also by, by Alberta here. And now the, 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 the problem is that what, what can we do with such kind of network? Physical uh, systems, physical complex systems, are now pretty well analyzed and we know a lot about them. And I wouldn't just simply start to, to use this, uh, this terminology, but I use it exactly like, like metaphor, like, like Alberto start, started with this first cartoon. So that actually, it, uh, in these uh, physical networks, there is something which is uh, very important to think about. It is uh, sensitivity to initial conditions. Meaning that in, in this very complex systems, which, is, which usually is nonlinear, small changes could influence the, the future in the long run. Not immediately, but in the long run. Many physical examples whatsoever. And now if we come to the society, then again, sometimes the small ideas, when they start to be developed and developed, that, that there is no influence forever, uh, today, for tomorrow, but in the long run, they have got the influence. And now, uh, when we come to this, uh, this uh, the social systems and again try to compare it with the physical system. In physical systems it's quite clear that whatever are the relations and, and whatever are the, 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 all the, these, uh, these models and, and the, the experiment, thermodynamics rules. So it's a thermodynamics that, that should be actually followed. If we take come to the, the, the social systems, the same role actually is, is what, what I explained also at, at the last conference in, in Podgorica. The, the same role, is, this is values. The values actually determine the behavior, whatever the things that, that these are hidden values or, or the, the uh, direct values. And this is actually quite, quite important to think into, into account. The next question in, in the social systems. This is related also to the truth. And Herrick has, has explained to us yesterday exactly what, what the physicists think about that. And I would like to bring your attention also that, that, that it's, it's a book uh, published six, six years ago by Jerome Gagan. We all know that cities know two cultures, the humanities and science. The, the, Jerome Gagan actually has the, the, the book of, uh, his book is entitled Three Cultures. He has uh, added social sciences and it, uh, trying to, to actually compare the methods and the outcomes in, well, in science, in social sciences and then and also in humanities. And his, uh, uh, I, I'm not going into the details, but, but the, the main point is that, that actually the social scientists and, and scientists, well, they, they do not agree exactly what is true. So that because the methods are different and uh, uh, we haven't got the, the proofs in, in social science and so on. So that must be actually understood. Now the next question is that how, that although we, we, we speak about the global world, but nevertheless, that, 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 that there are cultural differences. And again, that, that for younger people in this course, I would like to mention the, the cultural map, which has been uh, introduced by uh, Inglehart, Inglehart and Benzel. And, and this is the map how we, that, that based on values, 
And the, 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 the values means that, that in this sense it's either it's survival values or then the self-expression values. So that in between the scale. And the another axis is then the traditional values or then secular rational values. And if we use this sort of, 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 of uh, you know, <laughs> estimations, then we can very easily see that there is a group of English-speaking countries, there is a group, group of Protestant countries, there is a group of, of Catholic countries. Uh, it's in Europe, it's still the, the group of ex-communist countries, certainly Confucian countries like China, China, Japan, and so on. And certainly, this is not fixed. This is what they have also studied it uh, uh, with a, in a certain li lifespan. It changes. And we may, might ask now that are there some kind of universality in it? And actually Alberto has named uh, come, uh, several names that are, well, it, it's, these are, well, recognized in all the world. Mm -hmm. Whether it's Albert Einstein or Eleanor Roosevelt or what, what was uh, the, the long list uh, you, have, you have shown. And now, now the, 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 the point is actually that, that how these, these, these individuals, which could be they're, they're representing maybe the, 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 this group of, 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 uh, of countries, or more globally, as in the in, in contemporary world, how they influence. How they, they influence this, this uh, sort of, uh, of our, our understanding about them, that how that social power comes in. So that usually they awake the interest. And, and this is, this is it, it, how they could do it. I think that this is a sort of, we, we've been speaking about informal education, for example. This is something that comes exactly like, like Alberto has, has uh, pointed out uh, all the aspects, starting from empathy uh, about the, the, the understanding and, and all that. So that this is uh, something that, 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 that I think that, that in this, this, this uh, big system, as we may call it, the global world, despite these cultural differences, despite all, all that sort of different understanding, that could be still this universal understanding and these individuals, it's, it, we, we cannot train them. That this is how they, they appear. This, this was explained actually by Alberto. But there is one point I would like to really to stress, and it was uh, said, uh, said by, by Joseph uh, Rothblatt, the, the Nobel uh, uh, Peace Prize awardee. It was, well, from 10 years ago. I, I haven't so thought. Around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he said that those who know more have higher responsibility. And that is exactly that the way I, I uh, uh, well, <laughs> end up my, my short presentation exactly like Carpenter did, that, that this is also the, the, the task of uh, the World Academy. Thank you.